Hi loves, welcome back. I hope you are cozy. You have your coffee, your green juice, your champagne. A very special unboxing. One of the most beautiful, rare, unique, amazing pieces. Probably the best piece from Chanel that I have ever bought. Yes, mic drop. And she is just so special. I cannot wait to share her with you and tell you all about kind of the evolution of my style. And I think she really represents the woman that I am becoming. You love fashion. If you want to feel inspired, if you are having a sad day and just want to laugh, please check out my Instagram because it is filled with so much fun, funny fashion content that will empower you to feel better in yourself life update so if you had watched some of my LA vlogs like I shared a lot of struggles in my marriage and motherhood and just life as a working mom and I wanted to let you guys know I'm actually doing really well and so much better a couple of key things that have helped one I got a weekend babysitter so we now have this awesome nanny babysitter Jasmine she comes from 8 a.m to 1 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, and it just gives me a break. It gives me and my husband time to hang out. We can go to the gym. We can do our work, our hobbies, like I can do my YouTube or make content or just catch up on actual work. And it has been such a lifesaver and reducer in stress. Finding time to connect. I feel like our relationship is strengthening. It's so much better. And it's just gotten so much better than that LA vlog where I was really, really emotional. And you guys probably saw me at one of the darkest times in my life. Please get yourself help. Don't feel bad asking for help. Um, if you have the money, please invest the money in extra hands to help you if you don't have family around. Because we need it. This little beauty was very unexpected. I was actually shopping for 24B because it was the preview day. So I was in Chanel, tried out a bunch of clothes. Honestly, not very into 24B. I just not excited about it. But I love some of the pieces from 24A, the Metier collection this year, inspired by Manchester and check out the video on what I got from the collection originally. Um, one of the things I got is this beautiful, stunning nano shopping bag in this green, so beautiful, broccoli, lettuce, salad, move over. Just kidding, but you know. As I like to say, eat, drink, and wear your greens. So I got this Kelly and I thought, okay, I'm very happy with it. And that's kind of it. I don't really need anything else from this collection. But then I was looking at all the SLGs and kind of thinking about maybe getting um, one of the Kellys, but in the SLG version. So like a really micro, micro nano shopping bag. But then my genius essay pulled me aside. Actually, two of my just really good friends who work at Chanel, they were like, Asha, look at the craftsmanship of this. It is so much better than the SLG version of the micro shopping bag. Like look at the craftsmanship. And as a designer, I mean, I really appreciate craftsmanship. I think it is just amazing that Chanel supports artisans and still works with, you know, these local craftspeople that are making their hardware, etc. So I really, really appreciate that. And I'm really happy I got this because it is so much more unique and interesting and it just has this power to it which i will show you what i'm talking about <sighs> oh my gosh also i've been on so many trips so this has been hiding here because you know i'm on a budget and i have been very good on my 
don't go to Chanel budget and I've been spending a lot more of my income just like on hiring a nanny to help me and my husband, etc. You know, my husband has a startup, so we're just trying to be more budget conscious and I'm trying to be really good and not be a crazy money spender that I am on the inside of my heart. So I've been trying to be very respectful and just tone down my consumption. However, I really think this is a great piece and I really uh, saved my money for it and I was very intentional about it. So I'm very proud of my beautiful and I'm really happy that I waited for like a good, good piece than just buying kind of random things. And as much as I love fashion, I really think it's important that we empower ourselves, that we invest. You don't always need the cupcake if it's in front of you. Okay, but without further ado, here's the cupcake. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so already you guys can see this is black. And I mean, okay, this is also black, but if you can see, I'm a very colorful person and I really have this rule for myself that I don't purchase things that are black because I feel like black is really heavy, it ages me, I have this dark hair, I don't like to kind of add more darkness to my look. However, this is so beautiful, it's shiny, it's patent, it has so much power to it. And I feel like black and red and gold are kind of my new colors. And especially as an accent, it will go great with like a very colorful outfit. Beautiful this is, this packaging. But I feel much more confident in setting boundaries for myself and speaking up for myself. I struggled with that so much in my marriage because I'm such a people pleaser and I also struggled with that a lot at work. But now finally this year, I'm just kind of owning myself and my truth. Like if I don't want to go do something, I'm going to say, no, I don't want to do that. If I have a desire, I'm going to express that desire and not hide it. And it's just so much more healthy and it's actually more loving to the people around us to have that kind of radical honesty and I think I was just always afraid of making people upset or they wouldn't love me if I you know fully showed my true self but I'm getting more comfortable with that so I think this bag represents mm, boundaries it's me putting up my boundaries it's me being myself me being confident and it's this new side Tell me if you guys also feel this way about fashion. Like when you have a revolution happening inside of you on a personal level, does your fashion change? Do you buy different things? Like I'm, I'm so curious. For me, my fashion really reflects my personality and what's going on and my evolution. And I love that. Okay, so take a look. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I don't know how I did not open this for so many weeks, but you can see there's kind of a vintage style. This collection was inspired by Manchester and kind of this like punk rock era, I think of the 80s. So you can definitely see that in sort of the hardware is really bold. It's kind of that vintagey gold style. It's very shiny. I hope you guys can, I hope, I hope the camera's picking up on this. And then you have this gorgeous quilting at the front. And then the back has this like quilting as well. And the construction is just really beautiful it's really really gorgeous the metier collection is known to have just so you know it's not couture level but it is higher craftsmanship in the pieces and it's also usually more artistic and unique because it's celebrating those artisans so that's why i think this is very special so then we open her up interior design where you have these like 
three pockets and it expands very nicely. It's actually very, very roomy. Do you guys see we have something in there? What is it? Stunning mirror. It is a little Chanel mirror. Look, I can see myself. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And it's gold and it has like the Chanel kind of engraved on it. So you can kind of subtly take it out and like do your lipstick. It's like a nice weight. It's really heavy and just feels so elegant and sophisticated. Here, the sides are really cool too. You guys see it has this kind of circular area and then this really interesting design. It's almost like an accordion that opens up. Winter for fall for my whole life. I'm just gonna love it. Like you could rock it in summer. You could rock it for a night out. You could just pair it casually with jeans and a t-shirt. It's 24A and the price was in my opinion, for Chanel, pretty reasonable. It was $4,100, if you can see, if you can see this, and feel like the gorgeous amount of work that went into this and the actual hardware, which is so beautiful and so well constructed, and that it's like really beautiful patent leather. I mean, you know, the really tiny, tiny um, nano shopping SLG, I think is around 3,500. So this was just a little bit more. And I feel like if you actually look at those two bags in real life and compare them, this one is a hundred times better designed, more sophisticated, cooler, uh, just really, really stunning. So like if you are a, you know, mini bag lover like me and you don't really care about being practical, then I would check this out. But I hope you guys like her. Okay, what are we gonna name her? We need to name her something. I just, I don't know. I'm in my villain era, you know? I'm in my villain era. I have set my boundaries. I am not going to be a people pleaser anymore. And boom, here she is. Also, like this bag? Do you think this is a cool direction to go in? Are you proud of me that I actually got a black Chanel bag? Shocking, 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 but true. Let me know. I really want to hear your thoughts. And again, let me know what other content you would like to see me make and subscribe, follow. It really just, it helps me know that you're actually enjoying this and I'm on the right track. Um, and it just, it helps me ignore the haters because I have a lot of haters, but I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for listening. You guys give me life. Every day, whenever I'm sad, I literally come to YouTube, to Instagram, and you are so wonderful. Your comments are so generous, and I am so grateful because you guys have no idea how being here with you is kind of saving my life and transforming my life in such a positive way. 